I'm Tanya Raba and I'm, I'm a visual artist and a disabled artist and an artist. What inspired me to become an artist was my life, really. I kind of always feel like I've been born an artist. I kind of feel like I was probably drawing or painting something in the womb and then I came out and, um, and I've made art ever since and the things that inspire me are my life, the way people treat me, the way I treat other people. I find people fascinating anyway. And the thing that connects me with, um, with people, especially disabled people, is that common bond of us um, being disabled in a disabling world. Disability art was art that was made by disabled people for disabled people. Over the years, I think disability art has kind of opened up to a wider audience. You know, there's lots more people want to come into disability art, whether they're disabled or not. And I think that we're now open to the idea of, of disabled artists working with non-disabled artists and having the work have a more inclusive dynamic, if you like, but keeping those philosophies without um, compromising. Disabled people don't get the opportunities they should do. Well, I think that young disabled people um, are very often at the bottom of the barrel when it comes to exhibiting their work and um, people having access to their ideas and their perspective on life. Disability arts is a, an arts movement in its own right and it needs to be recognised and the only way that we can do that is by the Arts Council funding it and celebrating in it to raise our profile as professional disabled artists, as professional artists. I think that mainstream disability arts practice it's a good thing as long as you don't compromise on, on the principles of disability art in its entirety. So we're taking disability art into the mainstream um, venues in terms of looking at the Tate Modern and Tate Liverpool's art collections and creating a discussion, a dialogue with, with the public and with the gallery to explore disability culture within the artworks that they have in the collections and this can only be a good thing because it widens a dialogue so that we can all sort of so that we can all embrace disability as a, as a cultural identity it's good that disabled people are getting out as well in the art world Warbhampton um, Art Gallery has had a long history of working with lots of different communities so really it's natural to get involved in a project that is working with disability arts. I think that it's been quite a strong ethos to have our collections and our exhibitions as successful as possible and therefore why not then be reflective of our audiences by inviting disabled artists to show work that um, addresses the issue of disability. I'm Keith Oram, I'm an art interpreter, I work at Wolverhampton Art Gallery and today I've actually been a model for Tanya Arby, it's been absolutely great actually. We have uh, all sorts of people have been coming in, we've had uh, able-bodied people, disabled people, all drawing and working all together and I think that's the main focus of today, it's the fact that able-bodied people work alongside of disabled people, they talk to each other, they exchange ideas and it's been brilliant.